Hey guys, my name is Justin and welcome to Hellsboro, where we care about the design behind designer luxury. And if you do too, make sure to subscribe. So for today's video, I thought it would be fun for us to, together, take a look at the little capsule collection that dropped from Fendi for the Baguette's 25th anniversary. So I actually did a let's see where I kind of just reacted to the runway. I'll link to it in the corner if you're interested. But as we know, it's always kind of different from what actually is shown on runways, even for capsule collections, and what actually makes it to the website. So I thought, you know, let's take a look. And that way we can kind of take a closer look at some of these bags. So I already talked about this in that video, but Basically, Cliff's Nose version is that the House of Fendi, Kim Jones, invited Marc Jacobs to kind of collaborate and work together for this capsule collection. So you'll see in the video, but I talk about how like, oh yeah, a lot of this feels like very Marc Jacobs, very like grunge 90s skatery. But I don't know, I just want to see how it reflects in the actual capsule online and like what's actually available. So let's dig in. All right, let's go. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> Let's look at the Baguette 25th anniversary to start with. This page is devoted to uh, what they're calling the re-editions, so it's just the 25 iconic baguettes have been brought back from the archives for the bag's 25th anniversary. So basically, it's the practice of like taking what already exists and like repackaging it in, with nostalgia and honestly probably just like bumping up the price, which I'm kind of like tired of this practice, but let's at least take a look. Okay, so already I do find a lot of these bags at least interesting because like the baguette is like one of the more basic bags so it's a little bit less interesting <laughs> for me but i do think this one's interesting so this one looks like it has aluminium toned sequins so it's just these silver sequins done in like very clean rows i don't know it almost gives me like that chain mail feeling i do like that the the shape of it is the updated baguette with like the detachable top handle um, crossbody, shoulder strap, whole dealio. But I like the mix of this, like, it's like a m ch dark chocolate, like, mocha-y, coffee-colored, like, dark brown leather to, like, contrast against, like, the metallic feel of the sequins. And I like that the sequins aren't, like, super shiny. They're, like, matted. or like, matte. And they're square. So, I don't know. I find it interesting. I like it. Okay, so... <laughs> so I'm looking at... <laughs> The description, this is actually crazy. So they say the bag is meticulously hand embroidered with 12,600 aluminum tone square sequins. Oh, it's black leather? That's not black. And when they say it's a baguette Fendi re-edition. Oh, that's really cute. I feel like a lot of times when you see people like on YouTube or wherever they're like looking at stuff, they kind of just go through the pictures and talk about it. I know I'm definitely guilty of doing that too, but like I think it's interesting to see how they speak about it in the description because 12,600 sequins? That's crazy. It's all hand embroidered. I mean, it's still expensive, but they're like, this is why it's so expensive. What is this? There is a word here that I do not know how to pronounce. So, a re-edition bag in multicolor ostracon? What is that? Hold on. Let me just read up on this so I don't... Oh, it's a type of fur. I've never heard of that in my life. I know, like, the whole practice of, like, fur is frowned upon because I think we've all heard horror stories about, like, how inhumanely, like, fur is harvested from different animals where it's harvested from. Yeah, fur is inhumane, but I do think it's interesting that since Fendi started as a fur house, they brought back some of the styles that kind of reference that. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about fur. I definitely don't think I would ever have anything made of real fur. A, because I'm allergic to anything like that. But B, just like, I don't like really agree with the practice. But like, I understand the history of it. Looking at the colors of this, I'm wondering like, is this actually like the same colorway that whatever reference bag from the archive they used for this like is it the same colorways because it definitely this bag for sure informed the whole capsule like we're seeing the lilacs and what they call the acid green the browns the pinks the reds yellows it's very much like informing my understanding like okay maybe if this is whatever an early bag this is where like kim jones and mark jacobs like pulled the inspiration from i do think it's beautiful just the practice of fur is not i love this bag Again, this is the same thing where I'm like, is this one of those situations where, like, I would have to do research on the subject, but I have to assume that, like, 
the fur industry, when it comes from like Fendi, I pray that it would be done in a more humane way because they have the money to spare to do it in a humane way rather than some of these like fur shops like in like malls and stuff where it's just like lines of fur coats like I'm sure they source from places that don't care about animal welfare so I hope this is not the case but I do have to say I love this bag I don't know it feels very Y2K I have no idea when some of these bags came out but it's that acid green like fuzzy bag I think is just so out there and it feels very like out of character for Fendi in a way for me like I know like Fendi was done by Karl Lagerfeld and Karl Lagerfeld was definitely like out there but like this is like really funky. Oh I'm an idiot by the way. You've probably seen when I looked at the descriptions it actually says what collection it's from. So no wonder I said this is very Y2K because it is from 1999-2000 fall winter collection. Woo! All right you learn you learn. I don't know what the saying is. You, you live you learn. Ooh, what is this? This one is wild. Duh. Again, late 90s. This bag is entirely embroidered by hand with 20,000 beads and 380 small mirrors. I'm sorry, I think this one is so ugly, but I also really like it. And it, it like, I just don't get it. It's like a lot of like this lilac y plus gray, silver, pastel colors, mirrors, and snakeskin. It's, there's a lot going on with this bag. I don't know. The 90s were a different time, but like, I don't remember them being this different. Like, this is crazy to me. Okay, well that was fun. Um, I think I want to take a look at the actual winter collection. So, all of that stuff was archival pieces that they revived, and now we're going into more of the freshly designed pieces. I know I just talked about like that other bag where I was like, oh, all of the colors really lent to like the understanding of the collection, but even like the shapes on some of these clothing pieces like definitely were informed by that bag. So that baguette that had like the pockets with the other baguette buckles on it like so it was just a bunch of the emblems there. I was gonna say it's not a bad price but that's a lot for a nylon bag. It's cute I like the color and I like the concept of it I think it's really fun. Oh it's like nylon like inside and out there's not even like leather lining or something like that. Okay hold on let's pause right here. This is kind of my issue when it comes to like luxury, you name it, bags, apparel, uh, accessories, anything like that. When you're taking a look at like some of the details for the products that are on the website, like this is supposed to be like the best picture of a product you could possibly see, and you're seeing things like the stitches do have like a certain unevenness to them. Some of the nylons like puckering and like turning in on itself a little bit. Like for me, I'm like, do I want to spend over three thousand dollars on a bag that's going to have this kind of detail where like I don't know it just doesn't look like great quality <laughs> I mean correct me if like you think I'm being like overly judgmental but like, even here you can see like where one of the threads or something is coming loose like this is a, this is a product photo I don't understand why they okayed this it's crazy even if the bag was like top tier quality I would still like question like getting it like over three thousand for a hundred percent nylon bag I get like it's probably that like really nice thick nylon but then just looking at the construction it's like oh maybe that's also like why Fendi's not known for nylon. Oops wait what does that mean? <laughs> I know I just complained about like the construction of the nylon on that bag and I know this hat has the same issues. Whoa that's close up! Yeah this, this definitely has the same issues that I talked about like this does not look like super fantastic construction. It's such a fun idea, it's such a cute concept. I get no one's gonna like inspect your hat but like this is not for me. I just love the design so much it's so fun like look at it it's like it's like a freaking hat with like a little pocket on it with like a little Fendi emblem like it's so cute but it just misses the mark because of the construction the way it's photographed is not helping. I don't know y'all I'm like scrolling through and I'm not like super impressed with anything that I'm seeing. God, again, the nylon! It's killing me! I was honestly so excited that there was like a lot of nylon, this like technical fabric, in this house that's known for fur, like this very like luxurious material to use. But like, it doesn't look great. I don't know, am I just being too judgmental? Like, it doesn't look good to me. Is this just what nylon looks like and I'm just a jerk? No, it's not. So like if you look here, sure there's like ripples but that's also from me using it. But like the way that the stitches are done, they're like super clean. The stitching here, it's like even, you don't see any rippling along the edges. Okay no, there is a little bit, but like 
I don't know, comparing it, maybe it's just their choice in colors or the way that they did like this like two stitches like down parallel against each other. I don't know. We have a nylon bag. Take it out. Does it look bad? <laughs> oh my god, okay, this I love. <laughs> And this doesn't look bad. I don't know why the other things look bad. Is this one made out of satin instead? Oh, it is tone on tone jersey. That's why that looks good. Like, I love this t-shirt. <laughs> it's very stupid and it's like, why would you spend $600 on this? But the fact that it's like a white t-shirt with like a little baguette pocket on the sleeve, I think it's super cute. <laughs> if I were rich, this would be absolutely something I own in like however many colors they're putting it out in. Because I love the idea of that. <sighs> I don't know. Like, I think maybe like the context of like the whole looks pulling it together was more exciting for me than looking at all the pieces separately because when you're looking at it in totality with all of these like baguette pocket details and emblems and blah 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 it like creates something that's more cohesive and more impactful but I'm not like super in love with anything that I'm seeing now. I'm like 90% sure that like the baguette baguette bag, the one that had like the print on the front of it. So sure that those aren't going to be on the website because I'm sure those are super limited or something like that. And they're like the piece of the collection to get. That bag was probably the most exciting thing from this collection or from this capsule rather. I think we're starting to get into more just like normal stuff because nothing really has like the baguette pocket anymore. I guess there's one last thing I did want to talk about. Okay, see for me, the way the construction of this is done, this looks a lot better and it looks different than anything else. It's a shopping bag, but then it's given like a little baguette closure and like the idea is like when you wrap it all up and you fold it all up together, you use the baguette closure to like close it up and it becomes like a little charm in a way. I love this. Am I gonna spend $600 on something that I'm gonna put like, I don't know, a head of cabbage and like packs of raw chicken in? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I do like this though. It's just a big tote bag made out of nylon, and for me, I love the acid green. I love that kind of chartreuse pea soup kind of color. Oh my god, this description is incorrect. See, the construction of this looks to me more like the Prada bag that I just talked about. Like, yes, there's a little bit of puckering, but it like the the nylon doesn't look like it's like weirdly shaped. Maybe it's because when they do the baguette pockets, like they're making nylon do a shape that it doesn't want to do. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why, but the, the construction of this already just looks a lot better. And I think it's a fun concept. I think this is super cute. All right, so that was a quick look into the Fendi 25th anniversary of the baguette bag slash like the winter capsule collection done in collaboration with Mark Jacobs. I... When I watched the runway, I was like very excited and very into it. And then like seeing the actual pieces and kind of being able to take a closer look, I'm not so excited. I'm not that impressed, honestly. Here's the thing, if you're gonna have product images, it needs to be the best version, at least of the product, you know? Like in the fact that I had notes where I'm like, I don't know, it doesn't look good. I always find it interesting when there's these like, what do they call it? These like re-editions of archival pieces, but then with like a slight update either making it more contemporary or just making it fit kind of the model of the whatever it is that exists now. It makes sense for a 25th anniversary, but I don't know, I'm just kind of tired of it. And then the capsule collection was fun. When you show it in a more cohesive way, when it's the whole look, head to toe, you have these pockets all over your body. I think that's a lot more interesting. Yeah, let me know what you think. Did you guys like the uh, runway when it happened? And then have you had the chance to look online yet to see if there's anything that you'd like? Do you agree? Do you think I'm stupid because I'm like, I don't, it's whatever. I'll hear from you. But that is all I have for you today. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. It lets me know that you like this kind of content and that you too care about the design behind Designer Luxury. Until next time. I don't know why I'm being like an airplane. I don't know, is that the sound airplanes make?